here. Um, so the project you're working on this week is we're calling it the World Vacation Project. All right, so for the purpose of this, you're gonna look at 10 different places around the world. Um, again, that could be a city, that could be a specific landmark, that could be a, um, a physical feature like the Grand Canyon, you know, something that's not man-made. But you're gonna research 10 different places, okay? Um, at least six different continents must be represented. So what that means is you're gonna have to visit at least six of the continents, six of the places that you include on your project are gonna have to come from, from different continents. Now, if you're looking at this, you have to have a total of 10 different places and six different continents have to be represented. So what that means is some continents, you will probably have more than one place and that is fine, okay? But those are the rules. So you have to have 10 different places. Those can be natural or man-made. So things like cities, landmarks, um, physical features like the like the Niagara Falls or Lake Tahoe or something like that, those are all places, right? Based on what we know about the five themes of geography. Okay, so 10 different places, six different continents must be represented, okay? Um, you can do this in a Google, in a Google slide or a uh, Google doc or PowerPoint Word. However, I'll show you an example of how I would do this in a second. Um, but what you need to include is a title for each place that tells what the place is, a picture of it, a picture of a map showing absolute or relative location and a description. Okay. And again, you're doing this for each of the 10 places you choose to visit. Um, so basically the way that the grading breaks down is you get five points per place included in your project. Um, grading is broken down like this. You get one point for the title, one point for a picture, one point for a, um, a map that shows absolute or relative location of the place and then a description. And I'm gonna be really picky about this freshman. That description must be in your own words. Um, a few of us on the last quiz especially, I have noticed that we are going to Wikipedia and copy and pasting the first thing that we see on Wikipedia. So if you did that on your quiz, by the way, you did not get that point. And if you do that on this, you will also not get the point. So this needs to be in your own words. The first person that can tell me what polycentric means, I will consider you giving, a, giving you a point back as long as you don't Google it, okay? So this description, it has to be in your own words. I mean this in a very loving way. I know what vocabulary you guys are capable of using. So if I see anything that does not appear to be freshman vocabulary, you're probably gonna miss out on those points, okay? So again, your description has to be two to five sentences. It provides an idea of what the place is and maybe why you would wanna visit, okay? And I will show you an example of what I did for mine here in a second. Um, again, that description should be anywhere from two to five sentences. Five sentences for that might be kind of long. I would say somewhere probably between two and four sentences would be more ideal, all right? And again, if you do not follow our rules, if you do not visit at least six different continents, you will lose points, all right? So again, you're doing this for 10 different places. Each slide or each place is worth five points. You take that times 10, and this is a 50-point project, okay? So that's what we have there. I'm gonna weight it just like a quiz. So it won't be weighted like a normal homework assignment. It will be weighted like a quiz. So for those of you maybe trying to bring a grade up here at the end of the year, um, it is something that um, you should easily be able to do. Okay, again, big thing here on your description, use your own words, use your own words. All right, um, I'll show you an example of what I did for one of mine. And I think that'll be pretty self-explanatory. And then if we have questions, you guys can um, we'll jump back on here and we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay, so here is an example of what I did. All right, so I have my title slide saying that it's the World Geography World Vacation Project. I got some cats in the background here. I've been watching Tiger King recently, so I'm harnessing my inner, um, my inner Carol Baskin here and I got my cats in the background. World Geography is my World Vacation Project. It's by me, okay? And so again, I only did one place for this for an example but this is what it should look like. Now, the only difference between mine and yours is you're gonna have 10 of these, I have one, okay? So the first place that I included on my, um, my slideshow is the Great Wall of China. Okay, the Great Wall of China, here's my description. All right, you can see that my description is three sentences. It provides some historical background about it um, and kind of explains why I'd wanna visit it. Here you see a picture of the Great Wall and then over here, I have a map that shows the, um, the location of the Great Wall of China, you know, within China, and then again, kind of on the big world map here in the corner, 
all right? The other thing that I would recommend that you do is, again, the Great Wall of China is located within the country of China. China is not a continent. China is a part of Asia, okay? So in my, on my slide here, on my slide here, I have included, I have included what continent this is, all right? So now I know I've used Asia once. You know, I could potentially use it more, but again, I have to represent my six different continents, all right? But again, the only difference between what I did and what you're gonna do is you're gonna have 10 of these. You're going to have 10 of these and I have one. All right, but each one of your slides would look something just like this, okay? So we're gonna stop the recording and we'll stop the share.